Hey everyone, Mike here from Future Thinkers. Welcome, I am super excited to be showing you a demo of the Future Thinkers Smart Village project. This is a full mock-up of our vision, all built in a video game called City Skylines. Uh, this video game has been a huge help because it has a massive modding community, hundreds of thousands of assets that we've been able to use to build out this Smart Village. Now, before we get started, I wanna let you know that this is a demo. This is not an accurate representation of exactly what we're gonna be building when we actually build this smart village on a piece of land. Any different type of land is gonna have its constraints. Not every place is gonna have this perfectly flat, forested land with all the resources that you need to build your smart village. Some places are gonna be hilly. Some places may not have bodies of water. Some places are just gonna have a lot less space available to you to build. So keep that in mind as we go forward through this demo, this is just a concept. Now the first thing you're gonna notice when you first come into the smart village is this gigantic geodesic dome at the center of the village. I love the idea of having a center of focus at the middle of the village that is all built around a campfire. In human history, it's always been the campfire. That's where people gather to tell stories, to hang out, to chat. And I love this idea of being anywhere in the village and seeing a fire lit up in the center and knowing that people are gathering, stuff is happening, and it's time to go there and socialize. I also really love this idea of colored lights on the surface of the dome that change color depending on what the intent and the, the use of the dome is for that day. So at some times a day, you might have co-working. This might be through the morning and afternoon. In the evening, you might have a party, so the light might change on the outside to indicate that. Maybe when special events happen, we'll put on a special color to indicate that something cool is going on there. Another thing you're probably going to notice is how integrated into nature the entire village is. We really want to adhere to the principles of permaculture, and that means being able to produce our own food, produce our own electricity, manage our waste, and be fairly independent from centralized grids. And that doesn't mean that we're an island and that we don't interface with other communities or cities. It really just means that we're self-sufficient. So one cool thing you're going to notice as you go through the village is there are all types of different dwellings. There are earth ships, prefab homes, A-frame cabins, geodesic domes. And the idea that we love the most about these types of dwellings is that they can be low cost. They can be sustainable. We can actually produce a lot of the materials for them on the premises. So I'm a huge fan of this idea of recycling trash using discarded tires to build earth ships, uh, growing hemp, a sustainable material to be able to build hempcrete and hemp bricks, which is an excellent material for fireproofing and for insulating. And the other thing I'm excited about is the ability to make prefab homes using our own CNC machines. So we should be able to download 3D templates from open source websites that create open source homes and then fabricate our entire house from scratch. One of the other cool things about smart villages is the ability to have tiny homes and RVs pull up onto the property and have all the hookups and everything that they need and immediately plug into this existing community. As well, once you land, you can take part in the car sharing program. You can join any of the events and education programs. You can help with the permaculture farming and you can make a lot of friends and do co-working in anywhere in the village. So this is another thing I'm really excited about. I've been a digital nomad for probably eight years. And since I'm a person who has to spend about eight to 12 hours in front of a screen every day, I like to have different environments to work in. So we've kind of built that into this whole smart village idea. We can have picnic tables out in the middle of the forest where you can work from and get Wi-Fi. You can work in a geodesic dome. You can work from the lakeside. You can be in a cafe. So you can grab a coffee, get some Wi-Fi, and get some work done. Since fundamental health and wellness are a super important part of every village, we think it's important to have fitness equipment there, to have a pool and a spa and, and a sauna, and be able to relax and take care of yourself when you need to. As well, we're including meditation spaces. So if you need privacy, if you want to do some work on yourself and, and get some solitude, you have that ability. We also love this idea of having a slightly scaled up permaculture garden that people can come to and work on and, and work with their hands and be in nature. So that's it for this video. I'm going to be producing a lot more really informative videos that describe the whole plan for the smart village. So if you want to check that out, go to futurethinkers.org village. We'll see you in the next one.